I mean, as it looks like, I mean, it lasts now for, it started in 2000, um, with the first large transactions, which, by the way, it was exactly the time when the large private equities came into Europe. So this is how, when we got this wake-up call, before that, Germany was totally sleepy in this sector. It was mainly driven by the, uh, by the government. So, I mean, coming back to that question, I mean, residential is uh, quite, uh, I mean, quite impressive, um, all the numbers you see here. It's, um, it's right, uh, especially Berlin. I mean, four or five years ago in Berlin, I guess, most of, uh, most of the market participants um, did not buy enough into, into Berlin, and today you see that. And honestly speaking, I mean, I had a discussion yesterday evening. Okay, Berlin is a very... Uh, I mean, it's the main city of Germany, but I mean, if you see all the economic data and all that, that's a little bit against this development, um, what we've seen. But I would say it's, uh, I mean, it's the most hippest uh, place uh, currently in Europe, so everyone wants to be there. And uh, I mean, what, what investors like today is they like this stable income business, and this is exactly what re German residential is delivering. And um, will that be forever? I guess so. I mean, the question is, is there a moment when the yield returns of this segment aren't that attractive? But this is always a question of what is the alternative? And especially if you see now where the German pension funds and insurance companies are, we just heard about it, we've just seen some charts on the, on the bond development, uh, what's going to happen with that, what is the yielding, where the yielding comes from. I mean, as long as we do not see in such a volatile environment what we have today, I mean, you must see the listed market would have, I mean, would, uh, we have never seen such a high volatility in the German DAX at what we've seen over the last three or four weeks, you know. So this is investors, you know, frightened about that, you see. Every week now or all months you see a black swan event, so people doesn't like these surprises. So d d German residential is still a very favorite uh, segment of, uh, of investors globally. Yeah, we have a perfect match of all kinds of drivers in the market. Uh, it's, it's not just the lack of investor confidence on, on equities or fixed income. It's moving them towards real assets, real estate. I think that's a very important. There's a, a quite a wall of money uh, available uh, and again one of the other drivers is that people are moving to the cities it's the triumph of the cities nowadays and the versatility of a, of a city uh, with the the lack of of new supply coming to the market creates perfect conditions on the residential market as uh, so what we see also today uh, today um, maybe the the chartered surveyors are, are lagging a bit but uh, three quarters down the year it's an eight percent total return which is perfect for, for pension funds and uh, the likes of those. So we, we uh, are focused on all sorts of residential, uh, looking to diversify, but also enhance the returns. It's not just in the Netherlands, of course, but also looking into Europe. Last year we were, bought a German residential portfolio, a French residential portfolio, uh, and we have been traditionally for two decades have invested in not only the US on residential, on a variety of things, it could be also senior housing, but also in, in Asia Pacific and further, further down the road in, in Europe. Okay. We like that.